so uh, next step in the process is to train the cifar hundred data set uh, in google collab uh, reason why we are doing this is if we move to amazon sagemaker we are planning to use a gpu instance uh, which will be charged by amazon so we want to have minimal hiccups there so in order to ensure that our model is working fine and our pre-processing steps are fine uh, we will make use of google collab uh, train it in google collab and once everything is fine uh, we will move the uh, the same code that we are training here to a python script and train it in sagemaker uh, right now i am using google collab pro uh, which is having a monthly charge uh, but google collab is free uh, i mean uh, the normal uh, free tier is available so you can make use of it um, uh, and uh, make sure that uh, the training is done before moving to SageMaker. So I have uh, executed this code uh, before starting this video. So what we will be doing uh, is we will be quickly walking through how uh, we are pre-processing the CIFAR 100 data set and uh, making use of uh, ResNet 34 model uh, to train it. First, we are installing uh, PyTorch Lightning. Uh, we will be training uh, CIFAR 100 in PyTorch Lightning only. So PyTorch Lightning, if you are not aware, it is a, uh, it is kind of PyTorch only. It is a different uh, framework uh, which is uh, easier to use in SageMaker. We are installing the Google Drive. Uh, reason why we are doing this is we are planning to save our uh, model uh, to G Drive, which we will uh, use in uh, SageMaker notebook. Here we are doing some regular imports. We are keeping two parts. One is uh, for GPU and another one is for CPU model. Uh, as you can see, I am giving this path uh, to my G drive which I have mounted in the uh, previous step. So as you can see, the models will be saved here. Next, I am preparing a CIFAR 100 data module. Uh, it is inheriting from uh, PyTorch Lightning data module only. Here, we are uh, giving uh, train transforms and test transforms to be applied to our train data set and test data set. This prepare data method, what it is doing is it is downloading the CIFAR 100 data set from torchvision.datasets library. Then setup method will set it up uh, for train loader and test loader to use train data loader test data loader and validation data loader these methods are preparing the data loaders for uh, train data set validation data set and test data set respectively this is early stop callback uh, these callbacks are a feature in uh, pytorch lightning uh, so here what we are trying to do is we will stop the training if validation loss is not going down um, and we will do this once we reach 48 epochs uh, so till that time uh, it will not check whether validation loss is decreasing or not but once 48 epoch is done it will check if on each subsequent epoch uh, validation loss is uh, going down or not if it is not going down then it will stop the training uh, this is a create model function uh, which we will call in our um, model lightning module uh, so what we are doing here is we are uh, downloading resnet 34 from torch vision models library uh, the, the pre-trained model available in torch vision models library is trained in ImageNet. Uh, here we are using cifar 100 so we need to uh, make changes in the fully connected layer uh, that is used in ResNet 34 so that our classification is uh, correct that is what we are doing here in this create model function then uh, we are preparing a uh, model uh, lightning model class it is inheriting from pytorch lightning module so one thing with uh, pytorch lightning is like in conventional pytorch we have to give the training step loop and validation step loop by ourselves uh, here we can wrap everything inside uh, this uh, lightning module that we are creating that is what we are doing here in training step uh, it is taking uh, 
the images and labels from the batch from the incoming batch it is calling the forward function and uh, calculating the logits then it is calculating the loss the loss that we are using here in this training is negative likelihood loss then it is preparing um, a pred tensor uh, so that we can calculate the accuracy this accuracy is a uh, method that uh, we have imported on the top i will be sharing this notebook with you so that in case if you want to refer back after this video you can do it uh, here we are logging these uh, training loss and training accuracy in self log self dot log feature uh, this is another thing uh, that is a specialty of pytorch lightning in uh, pytorch we have to do the logging by ourselves but here it is more convenient same thing goes with validation step we are logging the validation loss and validation accuracy here and then we have a test step which will be using test data loader uh, to see if to see how the model is behaving with test data set we are uh, using configure optimizers to pass the optimizer here we are using a single optimizer which is uh, sgd with a momentum of 0.9 next we are preparing our data pipeline so if you remember we have created this cfr 100 data module uh, earlier so we are preparing an object called dm from the cfr 100 data module that we created above we are giving a batch size of 64 because i am using uh, gpu uh, gpu instance here in the collab so i can go for a batch size of 64 but in case if you are having a weaker machine probably a batch size 64 will not hold good you may have to give a lesser size then um, we will uh, run the prepare data method that we have uh, created in cfr 100 data module uh, what this does is like i mentioned earlier it will extract uh, the required data set cfr 100 data set from torch vision library then uh, we will set up with the downloaded data set which will be used later by uh, train loader and test loader so once the setup is complete we are using uh, test loader and uh, we are creating test loader and train loader now we need to check a little bit on the structure of this uh, cfr 100 data set so once this prep underscore data method is ran uh, we can see that there is a data folder that got created in our Google Colab. Why this is uh, create? Why this is getting created under data folder is because we have created. Uh, I mean, we have given the data directory as uh, dot slash data. That is the reason why CFR hundred Python uh, directory is getting downloaded inside a data folder. So. If you expand this, what we can see is there are three um, kind of uh, files we can observe. One is meta, another one is test, and then and next one is train. So, uh, this uh, data set structure in CIFAR 100 is different from CIFAR 10. If you know CIFAR 10, um, it is having 10 classes, but CIFAR 100 is having 100 classes. Apart from that, uh, the data set is uh, also a little bit different. So this metadata is having all the label names. So there are 100 labels that are used in uh, CIFAR 100, uh, which is as listed here, Apple, Aquarium, and all those things. And uh, these 100 labels are uh, broadly coming under these 20 course labels. So we can get these things from uh, metadata find label names uh, dictionary. So this data set is in pickle data format. Uh, so we are using a library called pickle uh, to load this data set. And then uh, we are uh, using this label names is equal to metadata find label names to find out how many label names are there. So basically, if you do this unpickle, if you run this unpickle function, what happens is like it will um, decipher this meta uh, data uh, that we are seeing on the left side and we will get it back in a dictionary format 
so this dictionary is having two keys one is find labels and another one is course labels so find labels is what we are interested in which is having 100 labels similarly if we check the train data that is this one uh, it is having following uh, keys one is file name another one is batch label find label course level so uh, there are 50 k files in train data and uh, each of them are having each of them are having uh, its corresponding find labels and course levels same with uh, test data it is having uh, 10k images okay and they are also having their own labels and uh, fine labels and course levels as we can see here so that is all about uh, data set next is uh, we are just randomly checking if our uh, test loader uh, that we have created is working fine or not so we are just displaying uh, few images uh, coming out from test loader as you can see um, these are the images that are coming out and um, the labels that are getting listed also looks okay uh, the last one being lion and first one being mountain similarly we will check if train loader is working fine or not and as we can see uh, we are just listing out the first eight uh, first one is shown as crab and last one is shown as porcupine maybe uh, fourth one is shown as boat okay so looks like our trail loader is also working fine and now we are initializing the model uh, we have created a pytorch lightning model class uh, light resnet 34 uh, in the previous step so we are creating the model by passing the batch size uh, we are using batch size of 64 since we are using um, gpu now uh, this step what it does is like it is just checking if already uh, model is present in uh, the g drive so i have trained this model before this session so obviously i will be having the uh, pre-trained model available in the model save path that we have uh, given earlier and uh, we are making use of that model and loading the model so that we don't have to start from scratch next is we need to create a, a trainer uh, again uh, this is for pytorch lightning uh, it is using pl dot uh, trainer we are going to train for max epochs of 50 that is it will train for 50 epochs subject to the early stop callback that we have given uh, if you remember we have given wait till 48 epochs and if validation loss is not improving stop it so if validation loss is not improving on 48th epoch probably it will not train for 50 epochs it will stop at 48 epochs and this is progress bar refresh rate which will show for every 20 steps uh, what is the progress of our training uh, we are using uh, one gpu we are going to use tensorboard logger uh, these logs will get saved in this lightning logs directory which you can see here under the name resnet 34 uh, jan 20 v0 uh, again enable model summary is equal to true and model summary max depth is equal to minus one uh, this will uh, help us to uh, display a detailed summary of our model if you remember in pytorch we have to pip install torch summary and do it but here mm, uh, with this callback uh, we can easily uh, get a detailed display of the mm, torch summary then we will run uh, our training and testing loop uh, how to run the trainer is uh, training loop is trainer dot fit model uh, data module and trainer dot test model data module As you can see, uh, it ran for entire uh, 50 epochs, and uh, our test accuracy and uh, train accuracy is as follows. Then we are going to save the model to the earlier uh, G drive path that we have created. We are saving the GPU model as well as CPU model. And if you want, you can display the TensorBoard uh, logs as well. Uh, it will get automatically displayed. Our next step is like we will move the same uh, code to a PyTorch script and train it in SageMaker notebook instance. 